Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Kaylee has some adorable kittens that you might want to take home. Kaylee. That's right. The Fab Five are coming at you with their cuteness. These five easygoing and playful kittens are looking for a forever home. There's usually like a kitten pile of them all just like sleeping on top of each other. <laughs> hey all you cool cats and kittens, this kitten room is nice, but these felines are ready for a forever home. Clover and Shamrock are about 11 months old, and Thor and Bubba are 6 months old, and Vango is a year and a half, so a little bit older, but we consider this our kitten room. These little cats were rescued months ago, each in a unique way. We got Thor and Bubba off of death row. Um, they were scheduled to be euthanized, as well as Clover and Shamrock. So that's how we got those, those little ones. Um, Vango was from a hoarding situation with about 30 other cats. All these kittens get along, and some even share a sibling bond. So Thor and Bubba are brothers. They came from the same litter. And Clover and Shamrock are sisters. Um, and then Vango is, a, is another little boy that we, had, we got from somewhere else. Meet Thor. This one is Thor. He's a super friendly guy. He can be a little shy at first, um, so he's a little unsure of like the camera, but once he's comfortable, he is super duper social and lovey. And his brother Bubba, both dressed to the nines in their tuxedos. Once he's comfortable, it takes him longer than Thor to get comfortable, but once he is, he's very social as well. Um, he loves, loves, loves to play. <laughs> that is his favorite thing. Then there's Clover. Clover loves that wheel. She does that like all day long. <laughs> and her sister Shamrock, both tortoise shell cats. She is definitely a lot shyer than Clover. Um, she's not a huge fan of like getting pet or held or anything, but uh, she does like to play, and she likes to spend her days cuddling with her sister when she's done running out her energy. It's just a little thing. And who could forget the ginger manx, Vango? That is Vango. He is pretty shy. He's never uh, really been a pet before since he was in a hoarding situation. Um, so it's been it's been a little bit of a process getting him used to people. He loves when you scratch like right under his chin and um, give him head scratches and stuff. And if you can't pick just one, cats are great. They are low maintenance, especially when you get a pair. It's almost like they care for each other. So we do have a lot of bonded pairs, um, and we do recommend if you're looking for two cats, then it is great to get a bonded pair. Um, if you're looking for just one cat, it can it can also be a great companion. Lots of cute choices there. Um, <laughs> did you also know, so the ginger manx cat was named Vango with a V. Winston Churchill had a ginger cat named Tango. <gasps> oh! Among several other cats. He was a cat guy. He was a cat but, guy. Yeah. I'm a cat and a dog guy. And looking at that, I was just like, I want all those cats. I, I know. But, uh, and she knows the personality. They know the personalities, which is good because you need a snuggly cat this time. See, that's what I was waiting for her to say because yeah. I don't want one that doesn't want to be pet because both my cats don't like to be pet I know. <laughs> or have affection or sit on my lap. I want one that cuddles. We always had one that just wanted to sit on your lap the whole time. Just always. Yeah. No. Kaylee, where can people adopt those cats? Because I want you to go out right now and adopt yes. those kittens. Yeah, you can adopt one, you can adopt two, you can adopt four, <laughs> whatever you want. Uh, they can all be found at carerescue.org. Call them up, visit their uh, facility. You know, there's, there's lots of options there if you want to meet them in person or just, you know, on the spot. Kelly, you need a cat? Um, you need five? I don't need five. Kelly, here's my, here's my <laughs> hope and pray, prayer for you. Okay. You know, you've had a lot of issues with blue. He's very hyper. Yeah. What if you got five cats? <laughs> and and they clawed his nose off. And then Michael is eventually, 30 years down the road, you're the crazy cat lady on the street. You know what? I'm the cat lady. I always, Kelly, the, uh, Kelly the cat lady. I grew up with cats. I, I love cats. Um, I, I am afraid to bring any animal into the, the space with Blue because mm -hmm. I feel sorry for that animal. <laughs> um, uh, no, Blue is a sweet dog, but he's just, man, is he a lot. Do you not think the cat would do what my cats do? If my dogs get too close, my cats go. <laughs> well, you know what? That's the thing. You just, it might teach him a lesson. It would have to be. Um, he's pretty quick. He's pretty quick, oh. and that's the first place he likes to. Anything moving, he he goes after it. Like the bird the other day, I had to save the big bird oh. from. Was it a woodpecker? A pileated no, woodpecker? No, it was not. It was a. It was a. What did See? I say? Oh, it was a red-shouldered hawk. <gasps> and it was a baby, but the wingspan was huge. But he was rolling around trying to get away from the dog, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta put that dog up. Yeah, but eventually he flew away, and it was all good. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, coming up, guess what? We're playing a brand new game yes. called Ozark's Fox or Fiction. Mm. We hope you like it. Ooh, it's coming up next. This is so fun. But Kelly the Crazy Cat Lady. <laughs> <laughs>